welcome students in the session of spotting error in this session i wish to give you few more tricks about how to spot the error as we know in any of the competitive examination there will be question based on verbal ability and under verbal ability section there will be first question which will be based on spotting error if we'll identify or if we'll understand the tricks it will be very easy to us to crack that particular section generally students we tend to commit grammatical mistakes in our everyday conversation and in writing as well without being aware of them the importance of english language increasing day by day in the academic curriculum as well as in competitive examination as you know a perfect harmony is attained in a sentence when one speaks or write correctly and for that these tricks definitely will useful for you will helpful for you let us begin let us start with the first trick some nouns are always used in a plural form and always take a plural verb for example scissors stocking trousers spectacles shorts goods employees etc these are what plural nouns okay now whenever we are using these nouns in a sentence this always takes a plural verb for example where is my trousers we should not say like this so what would be the correct one where are my trousers where are my trousers the second example is spectacles is now a costly item where is correct one spectacles are now a costly let me remember yes okay let us see the second trick there are some nouns that indicates length measure many weight or number for example foot meter pair score dozen head year hundred etc when they preceded by a number they remain unchanged in the form please do remember when they preceded by a number they remain unchanged in the form for example it is a 3 years degree course it is a 3 years degree course 3 is your what number right look at the second sentence it is a 3 year degree which one is correct second one why because when such nouns which indicates which indicates length measure money weight or number if they are preceded by a number then it remains in a unchanged form means it remains in its original form is this clear okay the second one i have ten dozens of shoes i have ten dozen of shoes which one is correct ten dozen dozen remain unchanged why because ten preceded let's look at a third trick there are some collective nouns as you know at the time of teaching of noun i have uh, explained all these types of nouns hope so you remember all these types okay now there are some collective nouns like uh, jury public team committee government audience orchestra company etc these are used both as a singular and plural depending on the meaning when these words indicates a unit the verb is singular otherwise the verb will be plural that you need to remember let's check with the example the jury was divided in this case now jury here is considered as what plural or singular in first example jury was considered as a singular instead of that what we have to use plural okay so the second sentence is the jury were divided in this case look at the second example the team have not come as yet the team has not come as yet which one is the correct the second one why because the team we have considered here singular as the team is a single team so we are using verb form that is has okay now the next trick that is fourth one we generally often confused for example lectureship or lectureship which is correct so lectureship is correct not lectureship for example 
there are 20 candidates for lectureship it's wrong there are 20 candidates for lectureship likewise family member is wrong please to remember family member is wrong member of the family is correct for example vivek and ramesh are my family members this is wrong whereas vivek and ramesh are the members of my family as the correct one see these are the simple mistakes but we are committing these mistakes so please look at these mistakes and give the exam very carefully the second one is english teacher is wrong english teacher is wrong whereas the teacher of english is correct look at the example dr raina is our english teacher the second one is dr raina is our teacher of english which one is correct the second one next cousin brother or sister is wrong only cousin is correct look at the example geeta is my cousin sister no need to talk again about geeta as she is your cousin sister no it's wrong geeta is my cousin correct one okay ours yours theirs are correct instead of apostrophe s using for this this house is ours no this house is ours the second one is correct one please to remember this let's look at fifth trick a pronoun must agree with its antecedent in person number and gender for example every man must bring his luggage when we are using the word man then we have to use pronoun for him his okay likewise the second example all students must do their homework as we are using students we have to use their not his or her okay uh, look at the examples each student must bring their books no this is incorrect which is the correct one each student must bring his why because we are using each student over here and for each student what would be the pronoun his likewise please do remember this look at the sixth while using everybody anyone anybody and each the pronoun of the masculine or the feminine gender is used according to the content generally we are doing that but when the sex is not mentioned we use the pronoun of the masculine look at the example any one can do this job if he tries why because any one is given the sex is not mentioned over here so we have to use masculine pronoun here look at the seventh trick the pronoun one must be followed by once for example one must finish his task in time this is wrong so what would be the correct one must finish one's task in time if you are using one as a pronoun it must be followed by once let's look at the next trick each other is used when there are two subjects or objects and one another when there are more than two please do remember each other is used when there are two subjects or objects and one another when there are more than two for example romeo and juliet loved each other as two subjects are there we are using here each other these five friends who are sitting there love one another why one another because there are more than two friends check with another examples all the students of the class are friendly they love each other all the students of the class are friendly they love one another which one is correct the second one please to remember because all the students all the students means they are more than two let's look at nine trick use of less and fewer less denotes quantity and fewer denotes number which generally commit mistake while using less and fewer please do remember this for example no less than 50 persons were killed no fewer than 50 persons were killed which one is correct no fewer than 50 persons 